Hello everybody, it's me. Um, today is September the 6th and well, whew, I guess this can help me. 6 o'clock, 6.15 this morning we delivered my baby girl. Her name was, is Melody Michelle Hines and she was 20 weeks premature I held her I kissed her and um, she lived for about a good two hours maybe three hours I went into premature labor which was totally unexpected. Um, when I got to the hospital, I cried, I cried because I was scared they wouldn't hear a heartbeat. Then they heard a heartbeat and I was like, thank you, Jesus. And the doctor came over and he checked me and he said, oh no. And I said, what? He said, I'm 10 centimeters. I'm fully dilated. So, he had to, he had to, he told me that I would have to push her out. Yeah, all that, it was the hardest thing. That was the hardest thing. This is not for me to, um, <laughs> it was hard, it was hard, it was hard, um, I guess the worst part about it was that I know that when a baby's at 20 weeks, it needs to be in the womb, and it's coming out, and, um, it's like a fish without water and um she was healthy but my cervix had opened that she was too far down that she was actually in the birth canal and um the labor side of it when you know the contractions were coming and coming and the doctor said I'm gonna have to push and I said wait wait, I need more time. I don't think it's right. And I just, uh, y'all, I called on God. I called on the angels. I called just to give me strength. I, uh, first of all, the doctor, his, his gloves was hurting my, my vagina. Because he, like, grabbed it and pulled it. And my sister was like, push, Mona, push. And my husband was like, baby, I need you to push. And I was scared because I knew if I pushed, she would not be, she would not have that protection over her. And there was a nurse, and there was another nurse there. And I pushed. And, um... <laughs> When I pushed, I screamed. I screamed so loud because I felt like I wasn't, like it was not, this was like so unreal. Um, I pushed again. I pushed again. And at one point in time, I thought, am I going to live through this? And I pushed. And um, they pulled her out. And when they put when they took her to the side, I could see her her little body and um come on sister said she's moving, she's moving. So I said, Okay. They wrapped her up and they brought her over to me. 
<laughs> my baby was like this big and she had it looked like a fully developed not big but she had all of everything intact and her eyes were shut closed and she was breathing and I held her and I kissed her <laughs> my husband held her and he kissed her too my sister held her and he kissed her too <laughs> it is really hard when you know that you have only a couple of seconds, minutes, maybe an hour or two, and nobody can put her up or on a line or anything because they said she's she's just too young so i haven't done any updates since i showed you guys some of my sonogram pictures but she in fact is a girl she was a girl we found out august the 4th that she was a girl my due date would have been january the 21st 2014 when my child came early, she came September the 6th, around 6.15, and it hurt so bad, but I want to say this, I love you, Melody, I love you so much, I held her, I kissed her, and I embraced her, and as a mother, I just really wish. I could have protected her. I would never know why. That is God's own reason. And there was times when I felt like the enemy was trying to test me and my faith. But I still believed in the Lord. I still trust him with all of my heart. I still called on Jesus. And I know what my child is. I know this is going to hurt because... I first I had a miscarriage, a DNC, and then my second was born perfectly healthy, but just prematurely. And it is, it is something that a woman doesn't want another woman to go through, and um, and it's it's hard. So I pray for all of the mothers out there who have healthy ones and the ones who have children that they so wanted to hold but weren't able to and they came soon and they left soon. I pray for you and may you be strong.